Happy Facebook Live time. My name is Melissa Kerman with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse, um, and you are here in the Melissa's Crafting Treehouse Facebook uh, page. Welcome, welcome, whether you're live or uh, here for the replay. I've got uh, announcements. I've got a fun project today. Definitely an out-of-the-box kind of project. Um, I'm excited to share it with you because I always like to do that kind of thing. Um, so, so happy you guys are here. Hi, Megan. I see people joining in. <laughs> happy Thursday. I can't even believe it's September 15th. Um, well, there's lots going on today. Hi, MJ. Um, uh, so I'm just going to dive right in. So uh, there, today is a 24-hour special, 24-hour um, sale at Stampin' Up! Stewin, um, where you can get 15% off any of the uh, stamp sets in the annual catalog. That's like a, over 130 different stamp sets to choose from. So if there's anything you've been eyeing, today is a great day to, to get them. Um, so check that out. Ends at 11.50 tonight, um, Mountain Time. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Um, uh, in the treehouse chick, in the, I'm sorry, in the treehouse here. <laughs> I am a treehouse chick, but uh, <laughs> um, I have my Lights of Glow stamp stack that I'm offering. Hi, Robin. Hi, Elizabeth. Yay. Good to see you guys here. Um, and the deadline for that is the 18th, so just three more days. Um, it is a stamp -a stack um, and on today's project features the Lights of Glow Suite, so you'll get to see a little bit of it. I've showed it before, but I'll show more uh, fun things with the Lights of Glow Suite. Um, and let's see what else. I have my ad Adhesives Essential Pack sale going on right now. So I've been talking all month long about, and in, even in August, uh, about m my goal to uh, earn the Norwegian Cruise uh, Incentive Trip through Stampin' Up! Now, um, I've been offering all kinds of opportunities for you to um, play along with me and help me reach that goal. Um, hopefully some really good incentives and offers that you can benefit from and get a lot of value from as well. So the Adhesives Essential Pack is one of these offerings. Um, I am, it includes uh, five different adhesives in it. Um, and some of them are partial packs, some are full packs. I'm gonna show you um, uh, the little um, thing that I've gathered, the little pouch that has all the adhesives in it. But the cool thing about this, this offer is that you will get, if when you sign up, if you if you purchase it rather, um, my uh, creative play with adhesives technique class for free. Um, that PDF is valued at twenty dollars. That's how much I usually sell it for. So um, you're going to get that twenty dollar PDF, um, a whole bunch of ideas for creative play with adhesives, and. Um, uh, even some some things that I didn't show in the class. I'm going to be showing some new things tonight that I didn't exactly show in the class. Um, so you get the free class, and then you know you're going to learn something more about it tonight. So super excited about that. So um, now I'm going to show you here, but it's it's kind of uh, naked right at the moment. I bought these adorable little canvas pouches, um, and the adhesives are inside. <laughs> but this is decoratable, <laughs> if that's a word, because um, they're canvas. So I have some ideas for how to decorate it um, to give you some ideas. But it's, it's got, uh, when I turn the, turn the camera down, I'll show you what, what's inside, because it'll be easy for you to see that way. Um, so, um, yes, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera down. We'll go ahead and get started. And if you have questions about anything um, related to my um, adhesive special, um, let me know. So yeah, and did I say? I don't know if I said. Um, you're getting 15% off the actual value of the products um, when you do the Adhesive Essential Pack plus the $20 PDF um, for free. So there is a shipping charge of $5 to get it to you, um, but everybody needs all of these adhesives that are in this pack. So um, you won't regret it if you get it. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around and we will face the camera down. All right, so there's just a couple of quick reminders. The 24-hour sale ends tonight. The Adhesives Essential Pack goes through September 25th, so you have a little bit of time to do it if you want. Um, the Lights of Glow Stamp Attack registration ends on the 18th, which I think is, is it Sunday? I think it's Sunday. Um, 
And then I'm also going to do a giveaway today. So the card I'm going to make, I'm going to give away. All you need to do in order to get an entry for it, you might want to see the card first, but I'll just tell you now. Um, hi, Lorley. <laughs> um, is the hashtag adhesives play. So we have adhesives for every possible use. And I, um, you know, certain ones like glue dots are really good for ribbon and things that are don't stick quite as well. So here's the adhesives essential pack. And it's gonna have, it's gonna be decorated a little bit. So like I said, this is naked. <laughs> It's naked, naked. Okay, so glue dots. Great for um, when you're using ribbon or things that need a little bit more stick. You can layer them up so you get a little bit of dimension with it too. Um, this is tear and tape. It's not actually a whole roll because this is the one I'm using. I don't have a whole roll to show, but you will get a whole roll of um, tear and tape, which is um, great, especially for 3D boxes, you know, that you just tear it off and you're good to go. And then um, one of my favorite adhesives, multi-purpose liquid glue. We're going to be using that today. Big surprise, because I always do that. Um, Self-adhesive uh, uh, foam mounts. Those are just your regular dimensionals. They're full size. Um, use those all the time. You're going to get a half a pack of the foam adhesive sheets. So three sheets, three full sheets of it. Um, I didn't want this to be too pricey. And then these are the adhesive sheets, which are awesome for, um, especially for detail, fine detail work. And in the class, um, I did some really fun uh, things with those adhesive sheets. So you're just getting what is a third of a pack. So I took the six by 12 sheet and I, div I cut it down to four by six so that it would fit in here and you'd get a little taste of it, a little flavor of if you want to use them. Anybody here who has taken the creative play with adhesives technique class, um, comment and, and share your thoughts on, uh, on that class, what you thought of it. Um, I hope you'll be excited to get that, um, as a free thing. All right, so um, I'm also gonna announce last week's winner. We had a hashtag hexagons um, entry, and these uh, this was the card that I made last week. Um, I'm gonna announce the winner at the end. So um, if you commented with a hashtag uh, hexagons, um, you got entered into the drawing for um, to receive one of those cards in the mail. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So, um, we are using the Lights Aglow Suite. So you saw me demonstrate with this Christmas Lights stamp set a couple weeks ago. Um, and these are the dies that go with it. I explained about some of these. Um, some of them cut out on the outline and some actually just cut out detail. So this one, inter this interior one is just detail. There's one um, here that is just detail so it doesn't cut, cut the outside use it in combination. Then there's some other ones that just cut um, without the outline cut. This one too, just holes into the paper. I'm going to show you um, a little bit more with that in just a bit. And these are, these are my, my favorite dies, right? So this is stamped and this, the outline is cut out. Um, this one is with the detail, with the glimmer paper. This one is stamped on it. So you can use it in different ways. I, my favorite element in this set is the, um, is the snowflake. Love the snowflake. Alrighty. So there's that. And then the second bundle that's part of Lights of Glow is this Brightest Glow. And some of the projects for the um, uh, Lights of Glow stamp set, or I'm sorry, the class, um, uh, will include sentiments from here, but you can replace them out if you don't have these sentiments. But it's a great, great Christmas set. And it goes with these dies. So it's got some nice tag or outline dies. And then these, some of these are negative space dies. I'm going to show you those. I actually die cut all of them so I could show you um, what they looked like. So check it out. So these are the ones, these dies obviously cut out the outside edge, but all these other ones cut, you know, this, these cool um, holes in the paper, if you will. Now I've got the gold glimmer paper in behind. This is also part of the suite and part of what you would get in the products for the class. Um, and by the way, the class is $48. You get $38 worth of um, product as if you if you had bought it all yourself. So um, isn't it cool? Don't you love, isn't that so cool? I love that. Now I have not created anything yet with um, these dies. I did use this one and this one on today's project. But uh, anyway, I just think that looks so cool. So it's a very, very fun bundle. And then... There's also other glimmer paper that goes with it. Isn't that, that's just great paper. So those will all be included, the, those papers 
in some way, shape, or form in the Stampus deck um, class. All righty, so let's dive in. So we're going to get started. Well, I'll show you the project. <laughs> okay, so like I said, it's kind of an out-of-the-box kind of one um, using this suite and um, some creative play with adhesives. So um, we're going to actually, we're not actually going to create this exact um, card. We're going to create something with the negative space that I created from this snowflake. So I'm not exactly sure how it's going to turn out. So we're going to experiment together. So the piece that I have from, that's the negative space, is this one right here. Okay. Now, when I did the other piece that's on my original card, um, well, I, I die cut it first. So I die cut it. And so this piece just is white, right? So it's got a, a backing on both sides. So it's sticky if I remove this layer and it's sticky on the back. So that's pretty cool to be able to play with. So here's what I'm going to start with. I've got some gold. Oh no, that's, I'm not going to start with that. I'm starting with this. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting with my gilded leafing. Gilding leafing will stick to anything that's sticky. So, and it's, uh, it likes to fly everywhere. So you have to be really slow when you play around with it. No sudden moves, no like quick hand movements where you blow air. So we're gonna start with just taking off this top layer and revealing all the sticky underneath, just on the top. Okay, so that's all sticky there. So now what I'm going to do, and again, this is, um, I'm going to just take some of the flakes that are in here. I want the, like, the fine detail flakes. You can see it's like a ton of little flakes there. And I'm just going to sort of sprinkle them on the sticky part. Now I didn't do it, I didn't do this, um, this way on the original card that I showed you. On that original card, I took the whole piece that was ex with the exposed adhesive and I just turned it upside down and flattened it right into the gilded leafing to cover the whole thing. For this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different just to mix it up. And we're gonna, starting with this, I'm just gonna tap my finger on here. Okay, now I'm going to cover this up, get it out of the way, and then I don't have to worry about you know, moving too quickly and having a sudden gust of air that makes that go everywhere, which it will. All right, so I'm going to grab my silicone craft mat, which I love. And now I'm going to stick it down on here so that I can start pressing this gilded leafing into the adhesive. Like I said, this is kind of an experiment. I'm gonna see how this works. All right, next up, I'm gonna grab my gold embossing powder. And let's grab a piece of cardstock here. Look what I have, a hexagon from last week. I'm gonna use this to help me cover this so I don't have to dip it in. It'll give me a little more control. So now I'm just going to cover the whole thing with gold embossing powder. This is my newfangled spoon here. Hexagon spoon. And I really want to cover everything that's still exposed. And I'm sure you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to get a nice, nice coverage over the whole thing. I'm 
You can see the flakes of the gilded leafing kind of poking through. This will be a good, really good example of the difference in the look between the gilded leafing and gold embossing powder. And I've got it all over my hands. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and try to flick off the rest. Okay, so it's covered. The whole thing is covered. Make sure we got every spot covered. That is actually the backing on the other side, so don't worry about that. Okay, let's go ahead and put that down. And I'm going to grab my heat tool, and I'm going to go ahead and melt this to melt the embossing powder. Okay, so comment, have you ever seen anybody do anything like this? This is what I want to know. <laughs> I really want it to be original, but you know, sometimes I think what I do is original and it's actually not. Other people have done it. So here we go. Oh. I think I'm going to go ahead and heat it just a little bit, not pointing down. So it's nice and hot when it starts melting. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it's new, Robin. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. I try to be original, you know? It's just fun. Oh. Did you get your package in the mail now? Loralee, you should have gotten one too. <laughs> I need to send an email, make sure you guys know what it's for. Let's see. I'm just going to put it down here because I'm at risk of burning my fingers holding it up like that. Okay. Just seeing my gilded leafing's getting a little lost. Eh, oh well. <laughs> like I said, it was an experiment. It'll still look good, I think. Okay, let's see. So you can see a little bit of the texture in there of the gilded leafing. It's shinier, it's um, a little bit less of a matte. Uh, it's shinier, the, the gold embossing is more of a matte finish. All right, so there's my piece. Hopefully it's not gonna look like a mess when I put it on my thing. All right, so now I've got the other next, not next fun thing that I'm gonna do. <coughs> I've got a piece of Whisper White, I'm sorry, Basic White cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this piece of paper here. And just got a piece of wax paper and my multi-purpose liquid glue. And last but not least, I've got some plastic wrap. I am just going to tear off a piece and kind of smoosh it up. And then I've got, I can just put some of my multi-purpose liquid glue here on this wax paper. It's just a nice, simple surface to use so that I can fold it up and throw it away when I'm done. Alrighty, so let's just smoosh this around a bit on my wax paper. Bet you can guess what I'm gonna do next. I love the texture of the gilded leafing, and I've rarely used it in combination like this. I don't know that I ever have in that exact way. So just fun, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my saran wrap or my plastic wrap, and I'm just gonna start kind of dabbing it all over my piece of cardstock. Actually, the first few that you do, you end up sort of getting Sort of some splotchiness, I mean, like bigger splotches. I like it when it's a little bit more, less splotchy, how about that? Okay, I think we're done with that. Now, because I put it, I put it out here in a thin kind of layer, that should dry fairly quickly. Um, 
Now, oh, okay, well, I'm glad to, let's see. You'll have to watch the rest in the replay, Karen. I'm so glad you popped in for just a bit. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry because it needs to be completely dry before I do anything with it. Put that up here. I have one that is done and dried that I did last night. So this one, you can see, it's tacky. You know, you know my little trick, right? Where I use my white glue and let it get tacky before I put it, you know, before I actually adhere my pieces and then I don't get stickiness on my fingers. Well, I'm using that same idea here, um, but it's just a thinner um, amount of glue, less glue. And it's, um, I've got the texture because of the way I applied it with my saran wrap. Okay, so next I'm gonna grab a couple of stamps. I'm sorry, yes. No, 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 I'm not gonna grab stamps. <laughs> I'm grabbing my gilded leafing. I'm not quite done with my gilded leafing. And we're gonna do the method that I used to cover my whole snowflake um, that I was describing before. So we're gonna move this to the middle. I kinda don't have tons in here, but there will definitely be plenty to cover the whole thing. So now I'm just gonna put it face down in there. Notice the slightest movement and my flakes wanna move all over the place. This is gonna look like a big mess when I turn it over. Okay, so let's just start rubbing on it. I just got a sixth of a sponge here. Kathleen, you're here. Hello, Kathleen. It's been so long. I'm so glad to see you here. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, I am just rubbing off the excess. Wherever the glue was is where the gilded leafing is going to stick to. And I'm trying to, you know, keep it in control, keep it in, in my, my bucket here. And as I said, I did get some big splotches in there from when I first started with the, the glue. If you didn't want that much in the way of the splotches, you could very easily, you know, dab off the glue on your saran wraps on something else to start with if you wanted more of a delicate texture. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that fun? I think it's fun. <laughs> texture, texture, texture. Shine. We got our bling. So much fun. Okay, again, move slowly and judiciously not to get that gilded leafing everywhere. Okay, next up, I'm going to bring in some stamps. These are two of the snowflakes in the, uh, oh geez. Yes, Christmas lights, <laughs> the Christmas lights stamp set. All these names, it's hard to keep track. And I'm gonna use some Pacific Point and Tahitian Tide to stamp some images in the background. And then we're gonna add some inks over the top. Okay, so let's start with our Tahitian Tide. And I'm just going to stamp wherever there are some white spots. Now, if we had gilded leafing that was silver, <laughs> I don't know whether it would be called gilded. Gilded somehow makes me think of gold. Um, probably for a good reason, right? Eh, anyway, then it, would, it might look more like snow, but you know, this is an artist's rendition, I guess. <laughs> okay, and then we've got some Pacific Point. I'm gonna do some first, some second inking. Just kind of get it all over wherever I want it. Okay, so there we go with that. Okay, now let's come in with some sponging. So I'm using sponges here instead of blending brushes. I did this because I thought I might get some gilded leafing on them. It doesn't really matter. It would have come off of the brush as well, but um, this is what I have out. So 
we're going to just do some sponging with the Tahitian Tide. I'm gonna focus that color where I've got my darker stamped snowflakes and maybe in other spots too. And in my mind, I'm creating a sky, snowflake sky. Okay, and we got some Pacific point for some darker color. I have to be very light with the Pacific point because otherwise it'll drown out all the other color. So I'm gonna mostly do that on the edge. Give me some dramatic edges. Oh, what was the question? What happens if you stamp on the gilded leafing? Well, I actually am stamping on the gilded leafing, um, but it just resists it. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't absorb into it. It's kind of like, um, you know, you, you could probably stamp on it with stays on, but it's the kind of surface that doesn't take ink well. It's definitely not the water-based ink, which is what our classic inks are. All right, so I've got my blues in there. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of my Orchid Oasis, which is more of a purple, just to, because I have to, because I love this color. <laughs> and I love this color combination too. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a couple of touches of the Orchid Oasis. Again, mostly focusing it towards the edge. Let's see what we think of that. Okay, hope I'm not blinding you. How does that look? I think I might be done with that. Okay. A lot of the center is going to be covered up too. All right. Just closing up my ink pads here. And we'll get to the next part. Okay, so I have got a piece of. Starry Sky is going to be the layer behind this uh, focal piece, or background, I guess it really is. So I need some adhesive on the back of this. I'm not going to go too close to the edge because I don't want it to ooze out. You always underestimate how much the glue spreads. So I try to go not too close to the edges. And if it gets close to the edge, the other little trick that I do is kind of spread out the glue where it might be potentially too thick and ooze out because we don't want any oozing. No oozing and no getting where it doesn't belong. I don't like that. Okay. Okay, so now there we go. That piece. I really love the 2022-24 in colors. And the um, Starry Sky and the Orchid Oasis are definitely, well, my favorites. But I love that the Tahitian Tide is great too, using that here. And uh, Parakeet Party, you know, I, I don't care too much for the Sweet Sorbet. It's just not my thing. But the other ones, love them. So there's what we got so far. Okay. Now, I've got a card base that's, um, this is the Orchid Oasis. And these two colors just go so well together. So that has adhesive on the back. Um, just going to attach that to the front. Okay. 
Now, there are some times, like with the last one I did it with the last one. Can't say I've done this a bunch of times, but it can be tacky, right? So there might be a little bit of glue that's still exposed somewhere. And if that is the case, what you can do is just take your embossing buddy and tap over the surface. It'll take away the stick if there's any stick. And it's bright enough, so I don't think you need to worry about it, the powder showing or anything. It just works just fine. So yeah, no more stick. All right, so now let's work on this focal piece. So here's what I have in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and just place this down there. I have heat embossed the Season's Greetings in gold, and I used one of the dies um, from the Brightest Glow, the Labels of Glow is what they're called, uh, dies to cut it out. Now on my original card, I just used a strip of cardstock for that um, at the bottom. And I, you know, I like them both, but I wanted to use these dies just to play around and see what I could do. So we're gonna lay that down there. And then I have a plan in mind for this focal piece. Now I've got two different options. I'm trying to decide, do I want an outside edge or do I want it to just look like it's in behind? So this is one. There's gonna be something in the center too. So outside edge or hidden in behind. It's gonna be interesting to see how this actually sticks down because all those little details are kind of going rogue this way and that. Hmm. I think I like it with the outside edge. The question is, is it covering up too much and is it too much of an edge? Hmm, it's covering up a lot. <laughs> no edge, says Nell. Okay, time to, time to vote. <laughs> behind, hidden behind. Okay, we've got three hiddens behind. Oh, you like the edge, Kathleen? Oh my goodness. <laughs> now what do I do? I love that you guys give me your opinions. Maybe I just need to have a compromise and have it be a little bit less edge. Okay, so I'm gonna take this larger piece and I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the edge. Just an eighth of an inch on each side. I'm gonna do it off camera, I'll be right back. Okay, so that's an eighth inch off both sides. I could always take off more. Oh, I just realized it's longer than it is it was supposed to be longer. Oh, I just oh, I just got off more than I thought. I was doing it. I forgot that it's longer than it is wide or taller than it is wide. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to take off just a tiny bit more maybe. Yeah, just so that it's even and then it'll show a little bit more. Okay, make the edge a little smaller. More of the background shows. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Great minds think alike. Okay. So there's that. Okay, we got a little edge. We'll go with that. So now I've got one of these die cut from Orchid Oasis. That's also from the labels of Glow Dyes. Isn't that nice detail with the little dots, the little holes in it around the edge? Different from just a stitched edge. So I had this in mind going in here and I'm thinking it might need dimensional so that's got adhesive on the back this is a piece of the brushed metallic um, gold and there are three finishes in the brushed metallic now this was one of the um, items you could get for free during celebration the add-on items that they gave us a choice to add uh, as a free item late in the game and so I have a bunch of it, and I love this paper. You guys know how I love metallic papers. So um, I want to tie together the golds by having that gold in the center. And I think I'm going to pop this up a little bit and need something. Uh, where is it? Oh, that's too big. I'll be right back. <laughs> Anybody recognize 
this <laughs> old style punch. I am going. Just grabbing a scrap of cardstock. This is like my new, my new favorite way to add a little bit of dimension um, without it being too much. So I've punched out two circles and I'm going to just layer them up with a little bit of glue. So it's gonna give it a little bit of height, but not too much, just enough to make it stand up more than being just flat on the paper. Okay, so that's what I have right there. Don't know if that's high enough. Might not be high enough. Okay, one more. Oop, it's getting stuck. <laughs> Had to bang it so that it came out. You can't punch too close to the edge, you see. It gets stuck. Okay, let's try one more. Ooh, I'm using up my glue. All right. Okay, so what's gonna go in the center is this die cut gold glimmer piece. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna grab some circles, three of them. I'm gonna stack those up just like I did the other ones. See, I can just like pick it up. Right. And that's going to uh, make my glimmer, glimmer snowflake look, set it apart a little bit more from the foil. Just put that on the back. Okay, I think getting this together is going to be the hardest part with all those little details on the big snowflake. Okay, isn't that pretty? I love that little element. All right, so now, let's see how this is gonna work. <laughs> Don't know how much I love that, but we're going with it. I just want all the detail on this to actually work. So I might need to add a little bit of glue to those spots where the backing came off. Let's see, there's that. Ooh, it looked like some of the foam actually melted a little. Now that's interesting. See how it's shorter than the backing? So it must have melted when I was heating it. All righty. <laughs> We're going to have a funny looking snowflake outline. Let's just put some glue on the back side of the spots. Okay, some of them even have um, heat embossing on them because they got the powder on them by accident. Hopefully this isn't gonna just be a big mess. <laughs> if so, we'll learn something, right? Okay, I mean, it's really pretty just like that. Let's just go like this. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let's see how we can do this. Let's work on this piece over here, separate from the card. Now, what I've got is, that's the one without the edge. That's the one with the edge. Okay, let's just try it. 
Every snowflake is unique. I love that, Nell. <laughs> what a great thought. It is so true. It's one of the things I love about snowflakes, in fact. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have a little bit more on the sides. <laughs> Look at my funny little, my funny little um, snowflake parts sticking every which way. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, it's kind of resembling the shape of the snowflake. Kind of, kind of. Okay. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Okay, too funny. All right, now this is gonna go right in the center. And maybe I have to pop it up. You know what, that's what I have to do. I'll pop it up just a little bit. I might have to just put some glue dots under there because it may need to sit on top of those foamy pieces. So we're gonna do glue dots. Add even more height. Probably could have done dimensionals, huh? It's okay. We're building it up and learning as we go. And we'll do another one. So I'm doing double layers of glue dots on here. All right. Now, this is going to go in here, and then that'll go right in the middle. <laughs> it's cracking me up, actually. Making use of the negative space. What the heck? <laughs> Katie Kerman Basalf was watching. That's my daughter. Hello, Katie. <laughs> Alrighty, let's add a little more glue. Welcome, my daughter, my fabulous, wonderful daughter. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and attach this piece. All right, definitely different, huh? And it's squishy, squishy, because it's that foam. Okay, we got a few little finishing touches. I got an inside piece to add. Let's turn this over, get a clean spot. And then I do have a few quick things to show you. Okay, so I've got a white piece for my inside. And one of the things I'm working on these days is um, spicing up my insides. So when I did my first and original card, it was actually the, the piece that I, uh, in the background, was bigger than I needed. So I cut it down and, oh yes, yeah, suitable for royalty. I love that, Megan. <laughs> it is sort of a royal color scheme, right? With the blues and purples and the gold. Um, anyway, so I had cut off some extra pieces. So I had some extra pieces to play with. So we're gonna use this piece um, that's gonna go um, in the inside. So it's a little bit longer than it needs to be, but it, it is assembled and it does have glue on the back side, adhesive on the back side. So on my white piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it so it's flush with the top. It's gonna hang off the bottom just a bit and then we'll just trim off the bottom with my paper snips. So there we go with that piece. And then I'm gonna actually put another layer in behind it. So, got adhesive on the back already. Oh, you, it turned into a wow card? Oh, well, thank you. So glad you like it. Experimenting and playing is one of my favorite things to do. Okay. 
So now this piece just needs to go on the inside. And then we'll put our two cards side by side so we can take a look at them. Fun, right? I just love that inside strip. So pretty. Oh, I think I'm so glad you like it, Melissa. Um, okay, so there is my redo. And actually, the snowflake shape really does manage to come through. I was afraid it was going to kind of get lost and just look way too messy. But it's not too shabby. And then uh, there's my original with the positive space snowflake in there. So fun, right? Um, and now I did the inside of this one with the other scrap that I cut off. So this one ended up being at the bottom. And I did use one of the sentiments in the Brightest Glow set. This is just like I said, great Christmas sentiments. So may the peace of the season light your world and may your new year be the brightest. Isn't that lovely? I love it. And there's other great sentiments in there also. So there's... There's the set again, in case you want to check it out. I also love this one, Let Your Heart Be Light. You don't even have to use that at Christmas, right? That could be any time of year. Love that part. Joy. Hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family and friends. That's a great set. Great, great, great. All righty. So there's the projects. Okay, so what else do we need to do before we're done? Now this one... Okay, so I'm just going to throw out an idea for you guys. So the, I thought, well, I'm going to have this extra piece. What should I do with it? And I know it's, I'm kind of getting ready to wrap up. But um, my vision for this is either to do it, and you guys share your thoughts with me. Say, okay, so we'll see what I do with this. Is to use either silver or gold. I'm sorry, not gold. Silver or white. And then do the same kind of thing. Um, but it would be white embossing powder instead of the gilded leafing or the gold seed embossing. Um, just to kind of give it that look of snow, right, instead of, um, well, I mean, gold snow. <laughs> so anyway, share your thoughts. What other, what other creative ways could I use this piece that you could think of? So, um, okay, let's turn the camera back around. We'll finish up and let you guys go. Hi, Kimmy. I know you, you missed most of it, right? But um, you can definitely come back and watch the replay. So, yeah. Did you see it? This is what we just finished. <laughs> so fun. Oh my gosh, I love that color scheme. Love, love, love it. <laughs> I'm a purple girl, you guys know. Alrighty, so just, uh, oh yeah, I have to announce the winner. The winner of last week's hashtag uh, hexagons. Um, drum roll, please. I'll do it myself on my legs. <laughs> the winner is Elizabeth Gobbler, and Elizabeth is here tonight. I saw you, so yay. So I will be sending you the Hexagons card from last week that I made. So congratulations to you. Now, if you like the card that I made today, um, comment uh, hashtag adhesives play, adhesives, um, and I will draw a winner next week for... Um, the card I made today. So, uh, so fun, right? Uh, so the quick reminders, um, 24 hour stamp sales going on today until 1150 tonight, 15% off all annual catalog stamp sets. Um, my adhesives essential pack is available for purchase. There was a link in my newsletter. I will have a link in the description of this video as well. I think I forgot to put it in ahead. So I'll put it in after the video is goes, um, I'm done. Um, and let's see, and Lights Aglow Stamp Stack registration deadline is the 18th. So if you're interested in that class, definitely um, sign up and join us. It's going to be some fun projects. I see lots of hashtag adhesive play. Yay! <laughs> so glad to see you guys want that card. It's so fun. Um, and let's see what else. And um, I will be live again next Thursday. Yes, every Thursday in September. Can you believe it? I'm actually managed, managing to do it. <laughs> um, so all the dimensions and supplies for the project I made today will be in a blog post, which will go live on Saturday. And then this video will also be live on YouTube on Saturday. Um, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, yay. So glad you're, uh, you're joining in um, for the replay. Uh, or here on Facebook for the replay. So, um, so glad. So let's see what else, what else, what else? Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have questions. If you need any of those key links, definitely go look in the description of this video or on the description for the YouTube video. Um, and I'll look forward to seeing you next Thursday for some more crafty fun. And I hope that you're inspired to go do some creative play with adhesives, things that you would never have thought of before. <laughs> Maybe you'll think of some new things that I didn't think of. I think I have three or four methods in the class and then I showed you a couple of new ones today. Um, so yeah, lots of fun. All right. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again, hopefully next week. Have a wonderful evening. Bye everybody.